This is an exciting video. Funko and I have teamed up to announce every single New York Comic Con exclusive for 2023. That's right, you guys are gonna be getting an exclusive first look here at Top Pops. And I've gotta say, they've got some pretty crazy figures coming this year, so let's just get started with movies. Alrighty, the first figure we've got here is the Owl Bear from Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. This thing is massive, and also it's the first figure we're looking at, and I gotta say, that New York Comic Con sticker is amazing. But just in general though, this figure is massive. I'm loving the amount of detail with the feathers as well as the bear-like stature. And so if you have any of the other Dungeons & Dragons figures, I feel like this one is going to be a crazy one to add to the collection because of how unique it is. Now if you've seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, you're gonna enjoy this one. Here we have Spirit Spangler. What an interesting figure, especially because almost the entire thing is translucent. In a way, it kind of reminds me of the Muncher. And I gotta say, it is really awesome that Funko is still making pops for this movie because I really enjoyed it. Now everybody, it's time to unlock the secrets of the paranormal with this one. We have the Key Demon from Insidious. More specifically, Insidious the Last Key, of course. And the amount of detail that they put into this character with the keys actually being on the end of the fingers, like you can see the little grooves in it. Oh, and then take a look at the back of the box. Yeesh. Pretty creepy. And then everybody, we've got my favorite movie figure out of all of them, Ray Filet. This is just such an awesome one. And I am so glad that he's turned into a Funko Pop because I really enjoyed him in the movie, especially because he's voiced by one of my favorite artists, Post Malone. Also, I feel like most of the times you saw Ray Filet in the movie, it was nighttime. So it really is cool to see a full 360 of his character. Now I think would probably be a good time to jump into Heroes, the DC characters, where we are getting a brand new Harley Quinn for Warner Brothers 100th anniversary. It's her with the mallet in the front. She's also pointing forward. It's a pose we've never seen her in, and she's also winking, too. A pretty fitting pop for a Comic-Con as well. She's like one of the biggest villains. And now for all my Justice League fans out there, we've got a brand new character, Big Barda. And now I gotta say, Funko outdid themselves with this one, especially with the way they did the metallic paint for the metal suit. It's crazy. Also, just in general, talking about a lot of these characters, the poses they put them in are some really dynamic ones, and you love to see it. And and then everybody, we've got a bit of a weird one here. This is the glow-in-the-dark Toxic Avenger. I know, a bit of an odd one. His face is <laughs> kind of creepy. And not insidious creepy, a different kind of creepy. But hey, you gotta love him nonetheless. Now let's keep this superhero train chugging because next up we've got Marvel with one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This one here is the High Evolutionary and I gotta say, they did a really great job making it look like his face was pulled on, you know? Now, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And this is just such an interesting one and also very similar to Big Barda. It has a metallic finish to it. Also, this is the only ever high evolutionary pop that's released. So if you want to get one for your Guardians of the Galaxy collection, this is the way to do it. Now, everybody, you can strengthen your supervillain set with a brand new Goblin Queen for the X-Men 97 set. A really cool character that we have never seen before, so it's cool that we're getting one at New York Comic Con. Also, I gotta say, the amount of detail on this character really is well done, so if you're looking to finish this set, I would definitely pick her up. And now, because it is Funko's 25th anniversary, we are getting a brand new Funko Pops Classic Vault. This one here is, of course, Captain America, so let's crack it open and see what he looks like. Alrighty, the sleeve is off, and let me show you guys what it looks like inside. Oh, wow. Now, it's not just a Funko Pop that you will be receiving if you purchase one of these. You get the Captain America and this crazy chrome box. And then you also have a couple other things inside, a collectible coin, pin, as well as card. And honestly, they're some of my favorite parts of these collectibles, just because of the amount of stuff you get in here. You can also use the vault as a really great display case. And that's how I like to do mine. Like, take a look at this. It's perfect for a shelf. Now, I know in the past we've seen Bugs Bunny dressed up as a bunch of different characters, and for New York Comic Con, we're getting some brand new ones. Take a look at this. We have Bugs Bunny Gryffindor. I mean, come on, who expected this? Definitely not me, but it is a pleasant surprise, especially because you don't just get Bugs Bunny, you can get all four houses. Because next up here, we have Sylvester and Slytherin. And like, come on, look at him. I mean, this is just perfect for him, especially because he is kind of sneaky. He fits well here. 
here. And I'm sure Funko did that on purpose. Then after that, we've got Ravenclaw with Lola Bunny. Again, a really neat figure to have. So if you like Looney Tunes or Harry Potter or both, it's a perfect collectible. And then of course, everybody, we've got one more house. And this one is going to be Porky Pig with Hufflepuff. I think personally one of my favorites, just because of how funny he looks in the robes. But there we are, everybody, all four of them together. Let me know, which one's your favorite? Now we've got a category I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for. We have animation, which also has a lot of anime this year. And I guess we'll start with this one here from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Magician Girl. And this one here has some amazing detail, like take a look at that base. Then for all of my Bleach fans, we have a brand new Ichigo. This one is amazing. Him in a battle stance here with his sword in the front, as well as his robes flowing in the wind. I'm also really enjoying his hair on this one, and he looks super menacing with the eyes. Now, everybody, we've got our first two-pack from the convention, and it's Demon Slayer. This one here is actually of Makomo and Sabito, a great pair. I love them with both of their masks. It's a really cool touch. Also, I'm just noticing now, is Sabito wearing socks and sandals? Now, everybody, we've got some from Inuyasha, and I have two of them here because, of course, we've got Inuyasha with the sword in the front as well as the robe. Again, a very dynamic pose, and I'm going to keep talking about that just because I love that Funko's doing it more and more. And then the other one that we've got from Inuyasha is a bit of a bigger character. This one here is actually Shippo on horse. Yes, it's a six inch. Also, if I'm not mistaken, a character that we have never seen before. So it's really cool to have one with this much detail. This character also just looks very cartoony and that's why I love it so much. I mean, look at the horse, how cute is that? I know I do also have to mention that there is two other anime ones releasing that I don't have here in hand. It is the Diamond Edition 8 Inner Gates Might Guy, which I've gotta say, just from looking at the glam shots is pretty crazy looking. And and the other one is a Luffy wanted poster, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those. But that's not all for animation, because I have one more from Care Bears, and it is actually No Heart with Book. One that I definitely did not expect to see, but is a welcomed character in the collection. Just because of how different he is, he's also the antagonist, so it's perfect to have with your other bears. And before we continue, the addition of the book in his hand really is nice, especially with the writing on it and the face popping out of the middle. Now we've got some Lucasfilms characters, which I personally think are some of my favorites from the convention. Because we have Indiana Jones, and not just any version, him inside of the snake pit. You can see it on the base there, he's got one of the torches, as well as a bunch of snakes around him. Why has it gotta be snakes? He also has the torch in his hand and another one behind him and then the snakes are looking pretty lifelike. And then we've got one from Star Wars The Clone Wars and this here is a brand new Darth Maul. He's also got the lightsaber in the front and then his head is looking so detailed but this horn's coming out of the top. Which he always has, but I've got to say, Funko does a great job with them because there's even like little details on it to make it look like they're actually made of like bone or whatever it is, you know? Now for our one and only figure in the comics collection, we've got a brand new Garfield dressed up as a witch. He's got the pot that he's stirring with the green bubbles as well as the fire on the bottom and that hat overall, just a really well done version of him. I also never noticed, but the box actually looks like Garfield's fur at the top there. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It looks just like it. Also, I feel like a perfect one to pick up just before Halloween because New York Comic Con is, of course, in October. And now speaking of Halloween, we've actually got this one here, the McNuggets with Pails, something to add to your McDonald's collection. If you guys don't know, the Pails is something that McDonald's releases every year, and it is so neat that Funko added all three to this character. I also really enjoy how it looks like the McNugget is dressed up as Frankenstein, just like those original toys that you could get at McDonald's. So if you guys want to relive your 90s nostalgia, you can definitely do it with this. Now I've got another figure that I want to show you guys. It's actually a television pop that I do not have in hand, but it's Jordy LaForge. Take a look at that, everybody. If you're a Star Trek fan, you're definitely going to want to pick it up. And now if you've ever been to New York Comic Con, you would probably know the next two that I'm about to show you because Funko does a brand new colorway every single year. And the ones that I'm talking about are Polly Pigeon as well as the New York City Pizza Rat. Both some really great characters, and I'm loving the colors they chose this year because the pizza rat looks pretty dark and creepy, you know? With the red eyes, and I feel like if it was nighttime and I found him in an alley, I would definitely be running the other way. And then with Polly Pigeon, he's got that teal jersey with the orange accents, another really great one. Now for all of my soda collectors, we've got a bunch of really great ones to take a look at. And I think we'll just get started with the Lost Boys, where we have Edgar and Alan Frog. These here are both limited to 5,000 pieces, and I believe is the 
most limited at the con. And with Edgar here, let's take a look at him out of the can to see what he looks like. Oh wow, they've got the canteen in the front as well as his knives in the back and then the bandana going through his hair. Really cool. And now everybody, they were nice enough to send over two of each, which I believe means that we should also have, I'm pretty sure, yes, the chase inside. Alrighty, everybody, look at that. Him with the mud all over his face so we can take a look at both of every single one of them. And now let's take a look, everybody, at Alan Frog. The only thing is, I don't know if this is going to be the chase or the common, so let's find out, play a bit of a game. I'm gonna say chase, just for fun. All right, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. This is, ah, the common. There we go, everybody, looking pretty good. So that means this one here must be the chase. And also, I don't exactly know what the chases are yet either, so it's gonna be fun for both of us to learn together. I'm pretty sure, though, this is also going to be a mud splattered version of him, but I could be surprised. Um, oh, it's a bit different. Okay, so he does have mud on him, but he's also got his arms moved around with like a weapon in the front there. And I believe it is called though, yes, Alan Frog with mud splats. And so if you're thinking of picking up these guys at the con, definitely be on the lookout for those mud splat versions. Now let's get into the Disney sodas that we've got this year, because there are two different ones. We've got Sandy Claus as well as Halloween Stitch. Now when it comes to Sandy Claus, I do know that the chase for him has the hat on. So we'll find out if we're going to be getting it on this one. Ooh, I am excited. And uh, this is the normal one. Isn't that weird? Now, three in a row, I pulled the common, then we're pulling the chase. <laughs> I don't know. But whatever it is, it's some pretty interesting luck. And there he is, a massive soda too. He's also huge in the movie, so that totally makes sense. But there he is right there. And now let's find out what that chase is looking like. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Sandy Claus with hat and maybe something else going on as well. We'll have to find out together. Ooh, this is neat. He's also got the list with pen. Oh, I like that a lot. And then if you'll notice, the candy isn't in his beard. So they really did swap this up a lot. And just to find out what it says here, it says Sandy Claus with list. How neat is that? And now everybody, it's time for Stitch. And I believe it's probably going to be a glow in the dark version for the chase, but we'll find out together. Alrighty, let's find out if we've got that glow. Ooh, okay, if it's glowing, I can't tell yet. But this is definitely a nice soda. I mean, look at the mask, it's just so cute. And then of course, we've got to take a look at this here. Aha, it is a glow, and we did get the chase. It says glowing Halloween Stitch. There we go, everybody. And I guess with this next one here, it's going to be just the normal version. Let's take a look at it. And just as an educated guess, I believe they're both going to be the exact same sculpt. Yes, it looks like it. So when you see this one, you're gonna have to put your hands up like this to make sure it glows or not. Now let's jump into some anime ones because we have Momo from My Hero Academia. Alrighty, Momo, what do we have going on here? This is, ooh, I've never seen the backside. That's pretty neat. She's got the book leaning on the back. Her hair is super huge. And then she's got the pole in the front. And that for anybody wondering is just the common version. So I guess this one here is going to be that chase. And now the question is, what is this going to look like? Mm, I'm gonna guess maybe metallic perhaps. Oh, it's diamond edition. Wow. The glitter is looking pretty fancy on this too. Jeez, I did not expect that, but that is a really, really well done figure. I'm also really enjoying that on the backside here, the book has the glitter as well. Look at how shiny that thing is. And then everybody, for the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers, we've got Lord Zed. Also crazy to think that Power Rangers has been around for that long. But anyways, everyone, let's find out what we've got going on here. And I'm trying to figure out what the chase could be. It doesn't look different. So maybe it's like a metallic or possibly glow in the dark. I guess we'll have to find out together. And this is, oh, wait a second. There was a bit of a difference there. He's got a flame on the top of his staff. Jeez, now this also looks like it might be metallic. Let me take a look here. It says, yes, metallic Lord Zed. Funny that they don't even mention that. But that honestly just makes the figure even better. And so now let's take a look at the normal version of him, which is still a really sick soda. Alrighty, and now this one is, yes, non-metallic and it doesn't have the flame on top. But again, like I said, seriously cool no matter what you get. And now let's get a little bit bigger with the sodas because we also have an exclusive three liter of Willy Wonka. The normal version version is him with the teacup and then the chase version is him with that giant golden ticket. And so let's pop the bottom off this thing and find out exactly how tall he is and if we got that golden ticket first. Okay, here we go everybody. Let's see. 
Oh, wait a second. It's not the golden ticket. It's the Wonka bar. It's funny. I was looking at just the silhouette on the back. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. I should have known. Either way, an amazing figure to get. Look at this. He's massive. And that's not where it ends, everybody, because I do have another one here. Let's crack this open as well. And just to show everybody here, whoop, there it is. Wow, that is awesome. I also love that his teacup is a small flower and then it fits right into the center there. And here's the two of them next to each other. Pretty unique. And now you might know one of Funko's newer products, Rewinds. And while we're actually getting a brand new one for the con, it's Scooby-Doo. And this one here specifically is actually Scooby-Doo. And take a look at the back there, guys. You can see there he is. And the chase is actually the creeper, a villain from the show. So let's find out which one of these is going to be that character. Alrighty, everyone, I'll show you first. Let's find out, is it gonna be the creeper or Scooby-Doo? It's Scooby-Doo. Such an awesome rewind. I mean, seriously, the tongue out of his mouth, the Scooby-Doo on the collar, it's just really well done in general. And also, if you've never seen these before, they come with a Blockbuster rewind card, almost like he's actually gone to Blockbuster and he's checking out movies. And so I guess everybody, that means this one here is going to be the creeper. It, it is. Yeah, there it is. Wow, he is completely different. And then of course he does have the card there. It's the chase and it says the creeper. And I gotta say, this is a really fun way to get the villains. And now hold on everybody, that's not everything because I've got a couple limited edition pieces I think you're really gonna be excited about. Starting with another brand new soda, we have a Freddy Funko. And now I know you probably thought that was all of the sodas, but I figured I would save some of the craziest stuff till last. And so let's get into this here and find out exactly what that chase is, because very similar to the others, I don't know. Alrighty, here we are, let's see. Okay, this appears to be the normal one. And even though it is just the regular version, I've gotta say this thing looks amazing with the mask on the top, they're that kind of like older 60s or 70s version. Version, or maybe even earlier than that, but either way, it is an old looking mask and I think it is so neat that they added that to this Freddy. And now I guess everybody, let's see what the chase looks like. And I'm looking at the back here. It seems to be the same mold. Maybe it's like black light or something though. I honestly have no clue at this point. So, ooh, wow, look at this. It is black light. But what I find really neat is that not the entire figure is black light, just the parts that make sense, like the mask as well as the shirt. And I guess we can find out the exact name and it says oh freddy funko glow now everybody we've got a set of bitty pops and this one here is pretty limited because there are only a thousand of these guys taking a look on the back here we've got the wolf freddy jacko freddy spirit freddy and mummy and all of them are looking amazing this is also the first time we get to take a look at the box where it says heavy metal halloween and that will make a little more sense in a second because the next characters i'm about to show you are original characters made by funko to go with that heavy Heavy metal Halloween theme. And this one here is Rusty Steel. Limited to 1,000 pieces and he also glows in the dark. Oh, something else that I really enjoy about this one too is the way they did him and how he's got an ax for a guitar. Then everybody, we've got Jack Carver. And what's neat about this one is that he's a complete pumpkin. Then in one hand, he's got drumsticks on fire. And then in the other, he's got like a scoop where you would take the guts out of an actual pumpkin. So pretty creepy. And this one also glows. It's a thousand pieces again, very simple similar to Rusty Steel. And keeping it on theme with the glowing thousand pieces, we've got another one here, Sid Ficious. An just such an amazing character. I love the teeth on this, the purple guitar, as well as the eyes and how they're kind of like a gradient from orange to yellow. It looks amazing. And then everybody, we've got to round it off with a fourth one here. And the one that we've got is Phil D. Graves, glow in the dark in a thousand pieces again. And what I love about this one, he's got the big kind of like retro microphone in his hand. But then if you look at the guitar, very similar to the axe earlier, this one here is a shovel. And so there we are everybody, four original characters created by Funko. Oh, and something else that I wanted to show you that on the back of every single one of these boxes, there's actually a special logo to go with each of them. But wait, everybody, there's one more thing that I have to show you, and it's a Freddy Funko. And here it is, everybody, the brand new Freddy Bones. This thing is amazing. I believe it's the first time we've ever seen Freddy Funko as a skeleton, and you might notice he also has a normal Freddy head as a mask to the side, similar to the soda that we took a look at earlier. Also with this one, you may have noticed that there is that classic Funko logo on his t-shirt and the bag off to the side. There's just so much detail. And now this one here is not limited to a thousand pieces like the others, but I do have something that is, and check this one out, guys. It is the Blacklight Freddy Bones. 
such, such, such amazing pops. And I cannot wait for you guys to get them in your collection as well. And well, everybody, there we go. That is all of the New York Comic Con exclusives for 2023. And let me know in the comment section below, which one's your favorite? I seriously want to hear from you because there is a lot of amazing stuff. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Funko, thank you so much for sending everything over and I'll see you tomorrow.